Booyah! All right, it is uh, 740. It is Wednesday the 20th, and um, it's time to do big things, get shit done. Um, today's expired, canceled, uh, new fresh data leads are... Um, there are 14 new leads to call, so let's uh, let's just have at it. Nothing fancy here, just making the donuts. Uh, all right, one of them is being filtered out. Uh, because it's not in my price point. And away we go. big things. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you get me some new listings tonight? my way through the list. Call you back as soon as possible. Have a great day. Have a great day. Make it a great day. Alright. I'm going to make it a great day. I'm going to make today the best day ever. Been forwarded to an automated voicemail. I mean, let's face it. I never had it so good. Kids screaming in the background. Me too. <clears throat> All right. It is a great day to be on the phone. How lucky am I that I've got a system that allows me to triple dial leads so I don't have to. <clears throat> Pretty powerful stuff. And then, in addition to that, how lucky am I to have a system that gives me data so I don't have to look it up myself every morning? I mean, forward it to an automatic voice message system. How good is that? It's pretty good. Four down. Nine to go. I think there's only one for sale by owner in this list. <clears throat> Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing was canceled in the MLS. I was curious. How on earth did the property not sell? Excuse me? I'm curious how on earth the property did not sell. How long it was listed for six months? 
Right. And I did have offers on it, but I turned them down. Okay. Were they just not high enough? Right. Okay. Yeah, I know there's. Uh, I've, I've actually got a, uh, a listing in Castellina right now. I know there's a lot of inventory. There's there's 19 properties on the market right now. Um, but we, we are actually getting a lot of activity uh, on ours. Uh, let me ask you this. Um, when you had the prop, well, first and foremost, are you still interested in selling the property? Not, not right now. Maybe okay. three months, yes, but not right now. Okay, I, I totally get that. Um, while it was listed for the six months, uh, you did mention there were offers. Did you have any type of feedback on the property? Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, there was one that we were really entertaining, but uh, the gentleman was looking to get in here before the end of the year. We just couldn't see that. Okay. All right. Um, so let me ask you this: If if you hypothetically everything lines up, the stars uh, correctly, you get the offer that you want. Where are you going next? We don't know. <laughs> to be honest with you, I don't know. We haven't even entertained that. Okay. You're you're not that far along in the I process. Don't, I don't, you're you're just not there yet, right? No. Oh, okay. You know, I figure why why turn around and put the cart before the horse until I get the house sold, realizing that I would have to rent. Yeah, no, I, I I get it. Well, let me tell you this in closing. Uh, I'm with Remax Direct. We've got six offices throughout Palm Beach County. We've sold fifteen thousand homes since two thousand and eight. We're averaging one a day. Um, I actually specialize in. I'm I'm in. Uh, I live in Canyon Trails. I'm around the corner from you. Um, Here's what I'd like to do if it meets with your approval. And I, I respect it's, you know, the holidays, you're not ready to go right now. You're probably a little bit fatigued from having it on the market for six months. Uh, if it meets with your approval, I'd like to do an analysis on the property so I can get fluent in terms of pricing um, and your property and then email that to you. What's your best email address? My email address would be Penny, P-E-T-T-I. Yep. 903. Mm-hmm. Okay, super. Um, so the number I called you on, is it your cell phone? Yes, it is. Okay, I'm going to text you my contact information so that you have it. Um, in addition to that, now okay. I, I get that you're not ready to, uh, to put it back on the market, and I respect that. Is it possible for me to meet with you and lay eyes on the property? I'm actually in there all the time anyway, because I do have a listing. Um, is it possible to, to do that just so I can see the property and get a feel for what it is that we're working with? Is that possible? Well, I got family, co I got family coming in here today and tomorrow, so I don't want to disturb that point. So if you're looking to do that after the first of the year, then I can walk into it. Yeah, that's actually, that, that works out great. We're doing a, uh, a mega open house on my, um, which I would love to invite you to if you're interested, on the uh, 7th of January at uh, 456 um, Siena Circle. So um, I'll, I'll be okay. in there then. If it's, uh, if it's possible, why don't, why don't we do this? Um, and, and I only say this because I get booked up really, I, I do high volume, so I, I get booked up, my schedule um, is tight, right? Uh, is it possible to just put something down on the calendar so I know I've got the time to just pop in and, and meet with you briefly? Um, and we can do that anytime yeah, coming. So, yeah, you can do that. Okay, cool. So, right, um, give, me a give me a call probably the day before, though. That's all. Sure. So, just just now, so I know I've got the time. Can I put you down for January fourth, which is a Thursday? Um, are Are you better in the afternoon or evening? In the afternoon. Afternoon. W would it be okay to get, pop in there, say? Any time after, say, one o'clock. Okay, cool. So, wh why don't I put you down tentatively again for one thirty? on January 4th and then what I'll do is obviously I'll confirm that so you know obviously I don't just pop in and you forgot about me um, but in the meantime what I'll do is I'll text you my contact information so that you have it I'll run an analysis for you which I'll email to you um, I'll confirm that um, Wednesday night just so we're, we're on the same page and uh, and we can get we can go from there now let me ask you this in closing um, when I do sell the property and get you more money than you ever thought possible Will you do an amazing testimonial and tell everybody what a great job I did? Of course. Awesome. You give me my number, why not? Why, why wouldn't I brag? 
<laughs> I love it. That's okay. Good. That's that's you're exactly who I want to do business with and get your property sold. Very good. I appreciate your time. I'll text you my contact information. I'll confirm the uh, appointment on Wednesday the sixth, and we'll uh, we'll go from there. Okay. I mean the third. Excuse me. Oh, you got it. All right, my man. Okay. Have a great day. Happy holidays. Hey, right. happy holidays. All right. Merry Christmas. Bye bye. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, First I go with your listening appointments, blah, 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 blah. blah. <clears throat> All right, so. Print him. All right, so let's start booking up the new year. This is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? I'm sorry? I don't know English. You don't know English? Okay. Well, I only know English. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send you um, a learn to speak English um, video and book. I want you to get fluent on English. And then um, once you've mastered the language, I want you to call me back and then I can list your house. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So there are six more to dial. Hello. Hello. Hey, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious. How on earth did the property not sell? I don't have any idea. Okay, I do. There are three reasons why prop properties don't sell, and you probably actually know all of them. The first one, first and foremost, is price. The second is the condition of the property. Now, it looks like you were on the market for uh, almost a year. Um, did you have any feedback as it relates to either price or condition? None, okay. Did did you have any offers on the property while it was listed? Yeah, a couple, but low ball. Low ball, okay. Um, all right. Yeah. Now, the the third reason why a property doesn't sell, and this is this is usually a biggie, is um, is the way the property was marketed. Do you have any idea how the property was marketed? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, but uh, we're we're stepping back right now, and. Uh, we're not, we're, not, uh, we're not ready yet, so uh, call me another time in a couple months. Sure, I totally respect that. Actually, what, what I would say in closing is this. J just so you know, and again, I know you're not ready to list. I, I respect that. I won't ask you to. Um, I'm with REMAX Direct. We've got six offices throughout Palm Beach County. We've sold 15,000 homes since 2008. We're averaging one a day. Um, what I'd like to do if it meets with your approval... I'd like to run an analysis on the property just so I can get fluent in terms of pricing and then email that to you. What's your best email address? Um, it, I, right now, but, you know, give me a call in a couple months. I'm, right now, we're not interested. 
I'll I'll be happy to do that. I'll I'll definitely give you a call back in a couple Your months. Name was? My, my name is Chris. Your name was? My name is Chris. My okay. my last name is Igo and, and I I'll, I'll be very honest with you. My biggest fear is that when we get off the phone, you go back to your, your family, uh the holidays, uh your business, the last thing on your mind is going to be Chris Igo, Remax Direct. You're going to forget who I am. And and you know what the reality is? I do the same. Well, you have my phone number. Sure, but I'll be I'll be honest with you. I do the same thing. What I'd like to do, and again, I promise I will never spam you, or I, I will never abuse your email address. I would like to at least get my analysis in front of you whenever you're ready. It doesn't have to be today, tomorrow, or you know, anytime, a year from now. But at least you'll you'll know who I am. You'll have read a little bit about how we've sold fifteen thousand homes, and when you are ready, we can go from there. What's your best email address? Oh, that's okay. I'm still holding mine. All right. Um. Yeah. But uh, you know, give me a call after the after the holidays, okay? Oh, absolutely. But can I shoot you that email? What What's your best email address? She hung up. <clears throat> um. All right. I will. So a million. A million two, I will absolutely call you back. Um, uh, let's print that one. How can somebody not give me their email address? Come on. Give it up. Give it up. <laughs> give me your email address. Do it now. Do it. <laughs> you do it now. You do it now. You do it now. Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing was canceled in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? Uh, uh, I think I spoke to you yesterday. My house was never up for sale. There's some kind of a mix-up. They've been calling me all day yesterday. Oh, you know what? I... It's, this is very strange because I remember talking to you. I deleted you from my system as we talked about. And the, the yeah. it's come back up. Please. Today is another one. So I'm going to delete you again. That's no problem. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right. In closing, did, did you happen to know anybody looking to buy or sell real estate that I might be able to help? Tell me the truth. Stop lying. Tell me all your friends and family's numbers now, now, now. <laughs> okay, uh, no contact. <clears throat> Two more. Dos. Dos. Can I mail her? I guess I could mail her. Um, I don't mail. I don't do a lot of mailing. Seems like a. I don't know if it. It might be effective. An automatic voice message system. Five, one, um, six, three. I have an old adage in my head from uh, my stockbroker days, which is if you mail, you fail. Your calling session is now complete. Um, All records have been called based on your call settings and exit. Um, if it was a better conversation or there was more, uh, if I felt it was a better lead, maybe I would, I would send her something, but, uh, what I might do, <clears throat> well, I'll definitely call her back, but, um, I would be much more inclined to just pop in and give her a, um, an analysis versus uh, mail it to her because people just throw that shit out. Anyway, that's all, um, we got... That's 14, 14 leads for today. One appointment set for uh, 
the first of the year, well, the first week of the year. Um, again, that's a little bit outside of my uh, my target range of what I, I like it to be within 48 hours. But look, it's Christmas. Um, it's the end of the year. I get it. So we shall see. But uh, get on the. That just goes to show you. It's uh, you know a couple days before Christmas. You can still set appointments. Get some. <laughs>